Hi, this is LJ Boffel, and this is a Microsoft PowerPoint for Windows video with just a basic overview of text formatting and inserts uh, management and fun in PowerPoint. So I have a three slideshow ready, uh, three slide slideshow ready to go here for us to work on. So there's the title page, there's a basic text page with a title, and then there's a uh, comparison page, or rather a two image or text or combination uh, with a title on it. So like in Word and Excel, you can use your home tab font group and paragraph group, group to do all sorts of things just for basic formatting in PowerPoint. You need to actually click into an item in order for these to be not grayed out. When you're not clicked into anything, notice how they're grayed out. So I'm going to click basic formatting, which is a title. And in here, I can read what the font type is and what the size is, and I can adjust the colors. So for instance, I might want Calibri, not Calibri of light. I might want 72 points. So I can come down here and scroll down the uh, font size and change that. I can change the font color by choosing something from the palette that is in the current theme I'm in. I can also use this drop down to choose more colors, either from a standard RGB selection here, like this. Oops, you have to make sure you select your text to do that. More colors, standard, blue. There we go. Or one can also more colors and use the custom, which is a nice gradient and will also show you if there's a hex color, which means it's a web enabled color. I think I feel I want a nice hot pink. So I'm going to change to this. And then down here, you can, you know, again, do the same sort of thing. You can make something italicized, make it larger in font size, and so on. Now, other things you could do in here is to add bullets and numbers. You could change this from being centered to left aligned like this. So there's, the, the sky is the limit for what you like to do here. Paragraph really allows you if you have more than one line inside of a, uh, 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 a field a text box to be able to change the uh, distance between them. So let's come over to the next slide. So we have text formatting here is our slide title. Let's double click here to grab all of it. And it's Calibri Light headings. I could change the font altogether. Uh, a tip that I would give <clears throat> excuse me, in any slideshow is to stick to one or two fonts maximum. Less is more. You want to basically consider having a title type of font and then a text type of font or keep everything the same font because the more that people have to look at different fonts and different sizes, the more confusing a slideshow can actually be. I'm going to go ahead and use my Control Z undo button to change this back to Calibri, but I might choose it, uh, go from light to regular. I might make it bolder, and then I will maybe, you know, make it uh, size 40 um, instead of 44. You could do all sorts of things like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use that same pink. Notice there are recent colors down here. So I'm going to click the recent color and do that. Now, these are the bullet points that make up the standard con content inside of the uh, placeholders. You can always remove the bullets. So if you want to actually not have your first item be bulleted and then have your second items be not demoted into the second level bullets, you can always do this. However, these look a little bit bigger than this, and I don't think that they are. It just looks that way. So what I'm going to do is, is go ahead and re-demote these, which you could do individually by putting a tab in front like this. Or you could select all of them, <clears throat> and in the paragraph section, use the decrease list level or increase list level. Notice the more you increase it, the smaller it gets. You have to be very careful on that. Now, right now, our text here is 24, uh, 28 points. So I'm going to make it 32 points. And same thing with less is more, because they're almost the same level, even though less is more is bulleted. So I'm going to make this 32 points. 
I'm going to take the bullet off of there. Then these, I would like to also be 32 points. They just will happen to be, you know, bulleted. So you could do that. And then let's take a look here and see if there's spacing we can add in your paragraph section. You can select this. And right now this is one. See, you can do this. Make sure there's a little wider space in here. You can bold things. And uh, less is more. This one, I might make another color just so that it stands out. So I'm going to come over here and make it that blue color. So very simple things that you could do with your, your average formatting. You can also, um, let's go into the third one here and look at what we could do with some of these uh, uh, shape fills. Now, right now, this is considered to be a shape, even though it's a placeholder that PowerPoint puts in place so that you can start typing into it, but it is also a shape. So in your home tab, you could use the drawing area, or if, if you click on it, you can see that a contextual menu called shape format has popped up. And you could use this to get into a whole ribbon full of options here. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to make this shape fill a very dark pink. This is kind of bright here. So what I want to do is come back down here and look for more fill colors, look for something a lot darker. But I can barely read this. So what I'm going to do now is select the text and I can go over to the text fill and change it to white. And then I could go back to home and make it bold. And then it stands out a little bit better. So you can do things like that. Now I'm going to insert a couple of images here, or items that are, are inserts. One I'm going to do a standard image, and the other I'm going to do a smart art, just so you can get a feel for those. Now in here, you can do pictures from your computer, or you could do stock images from Microsoft. I'm not seeing an easy way with these particular icon options to just go look for online images, although if we were to make a new slide, and come down here and do an insert pictures, online pictures, then you could do straight online pictures and not from the Microsoft stock. But the, the items they have here are, are just what are offered in this particular type of text box placeholder. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and look for stock images. And what I want is some coffee. So I'm going to type in a mocha and see what I get. There aren't really very many options here, but this one looks good, so I'm going to insert this. And in this particular case, it will be resized automatically to the size of the placeholder text box. That doesn't mean I can't go ahead and, while the image is clicked, if I see these little dots around the sides and corners, it doesn't mean I can't drag in, make it bigger or smaller if I want. But what I, it will do is at least bring it into a specific size. When you click on an image or another insert, uh, you'll get another contextual menu up here. This one is picture format. The picture format lets me add borders to it. So I might want this border, or I might want it to be round, this kind of round. We'll do this. Or I can undo that and I can choose to make my own picture border and make it, oh, let's make it bright pink again. Go down here and choose, yeah, this color. Now you can barely see that, so I'm going to click the picture border, slide down, and you could choose to change the weight of it, which means the thickness of the line. You can make it look sketched. I'm going to try this one, see what happens. I wonder if I still can go ahead and also make the weight bigger. Yes, I can. So isn't that neat? A real simple effect there. Not that pink is really great color with that coffee, but what the heck. Another thing we could do over here is put in smart art. Smart art is always fun because you can actually, you know, put bits of message in it while it's still kind of a visual way of looking at it. So we're going to do a cycle. I have a specific cycle in mind. And I'm just going to choose, I think, this one. Now, what will happen is you'll get this little preview. This does not mean you'll get this in all of these specific colors. This is representative of the Microsoft Office theme if you choose one of the variants that uses these colors. But often, you'll just get something that's all one color like this. So I'm gonna, you can click inside of the clip, clip art and type. Let's see. Let's see. I love 
coffee. No, I'm just going to do coffee. It would help if I could spell, wouldn't it? And then down here I'm going to go next is wake up. Better work. Getting sleepy. I need more. And then we go back up to coffee, right? <laughs> so we could select this, the whole smart art item, and you'll get the smart art design contextual tab. You could change the colors. So this is part of the Microsoft theme. You can stick with an accent one. In here, I wanted to see if I could do pinks and stuff, but let's take a look down here. Oh, actually, you could do 3D looks here. Let's do this. I'm going to change colors. These colors in here, let's see if I could do something with this. No, apparently I can't. So in here, the change colors is limited by the color palette that you're using. And we'll look at color palettes and themes in another video. But here I could do this one, and that's a nice bright shape. Or I could just stick with the blue or see if there's another accent color that does the trick for me. So I'm going to come here and do yellow. There we go. Ah. So that's a little bit about inserting a few things and a little bit about working with text and general formatting and stuff. I hope this was helpful to you.